Johnson versus Gaethje. Gaethje in the white, Johnson wearing blue, scheduled for five rounds. Excellent job, Mason. Oh, already rattled Gaethje. When Gaethje gets hit, man, he wears guys out. The longer this fight goes, the better it is for him, but Michael Johnson should not be in there brawl. Don't get overexcited by knocking him off balance early. How about the hand speed for Johnson? Oh. So fast, and it really starts with his feet. Several fights ago, he'd leave his feet often, overreaching with that left hand. Now feet planted, feet quicker. Ooh, beautiful combinations from Michael Johnson. We've seen Gaethje get rattled before, but always comes back. Oh, a great shit and lands a oh, right nice. hand, and then a knee as well for Gaethje. Excellent combination for Gaethje. Really does his best work when he can get his hands on you. He punches into the clinch. He's got beautiful, dirty boxing and always finishes with leg kicks. He breaks guys down with leg kicks. That's exactly what he told me this week. Look, I want to start at his legs and I want to beat him down. Gaethje, constant forward pressure. It's all he knows. And this was key for Gaethje, right? If he could get Michael Johnson to stand flat-footed, keep in front of him. This is not what Michael Johnson wanted to do. He wanted Gaethje to have to find him. He was searching for him. Now he's trapped with his back against the fence. And Gaethje didn't do much trash talking before the fight, but he's jawing at Johnson right now. And another leg kick, another one landed by Gaethje. This is his style of fight, man, in your face. Does not want to let Johnson breathe. Nice counter left hand from Johnson. Body shot, a good one from Gaethje. Now it's interesting, the corner Michael Johnson called for body shots now too. Gaethje stands up very tall, so the body is there. Man, another chopping leg kick. Michael Johnson's gonna have to address those, either with counters or catch him, look for a takedown, or just stick his knee out there and check it. Cannot allow Gaethje to keep chopping down. Gaethje has TKO'd a couple of guys with leg kicks in fights. Oh, the left hook connected for Gaethje, and Johnson wobbling again. This is not the fight Johnson said he would fight, but right now he's right in the pocket, swinging Johnson, away. Johnson's calling to come forward. Right now, this is a Gaethje style of fight. Johnson's landing his shots as well, but the harder punch is certainly for Gaethje. And Gaethje likes to cover up often, puts his head down and covers up. Johnson's got to transition from straight punches to some more uppercuts and hooks to find the hole. But this kind of pressure wears you out when you're constantly being walked down against the fence. Now Michael Johnson center of the octagon. This is where he needs to stay. Johnson told us specifically, I will not stand in front of him so he can tee off on me like everyone else. I'm not interested in a war. But that's what we have right now. It's tough with Gaethje, man. He almost forces this because he's constantly in your face. And you hit him with everything you got, and he still walks forward. Johnson's gonna have to rock him. He's gonna have to severely hurt him or knock him out if he wants to stop this pressure. This is just the only way Gaethje knows how to fight, man. Non-stop. It's scheduled for five, but at this pace, we might not even reach two. Total strike so far. Look at the output. 45 landed for Gaethje, 34 for Johnson. Johnson not finding the home for the left hand now. He did early. Gaethje starting to block it as he brings up that right arm. Oh, oh he hurt right him! He hurt him! That's the one for Johnson! Gaethje stood up to it, and now he's down! Johnson takes the back! Really nice adjustment by Johnson. Gaethje oh. continues to, co to cover up, and Johnson now finding the holes in the defense 
and attacking the body. Beautiful work here from Michael Johnson. What an opening round between Gaethje and Johnson. Let's take a look here. The leg kicks were continuous for Gaethje. And there you see, that's his main defense. He likes to cover up. And Johnson changed up through a different angle right hook. Found his footing from an orthodox stance. Man, and that's the kind of power Michael Johnson possesses. The crowd, oh, the crowd on their feet here in Las Vegas. Gaethje loves it. What a debut this has been, win or lose. I'm telling you, these guys didn't like each other before, but they're earning each other's respect right now. And you heard Henry Hook the horn and Michael Johnson say, go low, then go high. They want to get, as Gaethje covers up, they want to get those elbows going up and down and create more openings. Work the body, then come back upstairs. Gaethje was honest with his assessment about his skills. He said, listen, the way I fight, it's just a matter of time before I get knocked out in the UFC. Johnson agrees, saying that knockout will happen tonight. Johnson bouncing on the feet now, not allowing him to walk him down. That's key. He's got a circle to get back at the center of the octagon here, and he does. Nice work there from Michael Johnson. Got caught a little flat-footed in the middle of round one. Watch the fingers in his face. Just waiting for something big to happen again because you know it will. And relentless with these leg kicks, non-stop, and that will limit the movement of Michael Johnson if this fight continues, gets in the third, fourth, and fifth round. And still, even after getting knocked down, Gaethje coming forward. Oh, that's a right hand! Gaethje's still on his feet! He may not know where he is, but he's standing up! Johnson's got to push away from this clinch and open up. He does not want to stay here. Gaethje's in great shape, and he recovers quickly. He's been hurt before in fights. Michael, watch the thumb. And some elbows now for Johnson, who's just Ooh. picking his spots. Gaethje fighting back with an elbow of his own and a knee. But he bought himself some time. Michael Johnson's to keep this fight in space. That's when he's hurting Gaethje. The fight living up to the hype. And now Johnson working the body a little bit. With both guys doing some nice body work. Johnson really digging good hooks. And Gaethje continues with the leg kicks. Gaethje's got to do a better job just getting his hands on Michael Johnson. Limit the space. Get into dirty boxing scenarios. Maybe start using his wrestling whip to take him down. Because now, when the fight is in the center of the octagon twice now, Gaethje's been rocked badly. He's got to do everything he can to get this fight into the third round. Johnson's expended a lot of energy. He's got to hope that he starts to tire out, and it limits his power. Gaethje seems to get clipped every fight he has, but somehow his chin is up to the task. Well, the guys he's fought before do not hit as hard as Michael Johnson, that's for sure. But the longer this goes, the less likely you're going to see a one-punch KO from Michael Johnson. You can hear Henry Hook telling him, body all night. They want him to keep working that body. Smart work here from Michael Johnson. And in covering up like that for Justin Gaethje, it makes him a target. A target and Johnson's finding some holes. Johnson. Nice uppercut from Gaethje. Caught him flush on the chin, and Johnson's rocked now. And Gaethje's got to walk him down and unload. Johnson's left oh. up there. Uppercut, right hand, big uppercut again. And it's Gaethje's moment. Can he close the show? Johnson covered up, stumbling backwards. He's bloodied. He's beaten. Yeah, but he's I not like finished. It. I like it. Chopping the legs down, being smart about this. He's not rushing it. He knows he hasn't hurt. He knows he's got him tired. I think Gaethje's tired too. I don't know why he didn't jump on him there. 
mean, both guys going for it here, and it's been a lot of energy. It's an instant classic no matter what happens. A leg kick. Johnson's legs are shot. Get up. Let's go. Great bad Get sign up. for Johnson. Almost oh, looking like he wants to pull guard. Both oh. guys exhausted. There's no way this goes five rounds. They may both have to tap out because of exhaustion. 20 seconds left in round two. Can Johnson survive? That's no, it. He cannot. Justin Gaethje with his ultimate highlight. He doesn't even have the energy to celebrate. An unbelievable battle. And he stuck the landing. Man, so much heart. Rocked badly twice. Eats a big left hand, and there's Gaethje rocked bad. But Gaethje, all heart, man. And this is the guy, every fight he goes to war. Every fight he gets tagged. Digs deep, finds a way to recover here. Ties him up. And then, boom, that short uppercut changed everything. And he smelled the finish. And, man, this kid just does not stop. He promised everybody he would bring it when he got to this level. And man, did he come through huge against an extremely talented lightweight. Gaethje said, I think each of us are going to get a huge bonus tonight. No matter what happens, it'll be that kind of fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Big John McCarthy has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 48 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by T.A.O. Justin, the highlight game. Cheers.